Hi guys, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Center for Neuropathy and Chronic Pain, and I'm here to talk to you about balance and problems with balance, especially as you get older, the three things that cause balance issues, and then finally, the three things we do to help treat balance issues here at Anderson Center for Neuropathy and Chronic Pain. And as always, when you're watching this, please consider subscribing. Click on that subscribe button. We love to have more subscribers so that you can spread the word, spread the information that we're uh, giving you. And hopefully this is really good content for you. So, so what's the big issue about balance and gait? Well, it becomes a big issue as you get older because you're going to risk falling. And if you fall, there's a chance of breaking a hip. And as you're getting older, breaking a hip can be very detrimental to your health. Not to scare you, but it can be fatal. Not the injury itself, but the subsequent problems that arise from not being able to get around as much and the risk of the surgery and such. So, and you've probably heard of that. So the ability that we have to help with this, I think is something that you need to understand. Uh, and just the inconvenience. I mean, when you're not able to ambulate and walk, it's, it's, it's kind of scary. You're not sure at first because your feet might be getting numb. Well, you know, how bad is this going to get? It's not a, a problem with neuropathy per se that causes you to have a pain, but if you just have numbness, it's a fear of how much bad, how much worse is this gonna be? Am I gonna be relegated to cane? Am I gonna to have to use a wheelchair, for instance? But neuropathy kind of is the umbrella diagnosis for all this stuff. When you get the burning, the tingling, the numbness in your feet, it can lead to problems with balance and gait because you don't have strength, you don't have feeling, and you may have pain. And I just kind of mentioned the three things that cause you to have balance issue. Number one would be, because of your neuropathy, you can't feel your feet on the ground. You can't feel the tops of the feet, and also very importantly, importantly and obviously, you may not be able to feel the ground when you're walking or the carpeting. We have people, when they're coming in, we watch them walk. We see how their gait is. We see how long they can hold balance on one foot or on the other foot. We have them do it with their eyes closed and eyes open. We see if they can turn around one way better than another. There's things that we do during our analysis in terms of gait to see how they function. We also do a very thorough neurological examination from the knee down because we're evaluating these nerve pathways in the lower extremity. No, we're not the doctors that pre put you on medication to treat your neuropathy, and we're not the doctors that treat the back because maybe the back's causing a problem. I'm the type of doctor that's dealing with the peripheral nervous system. There aren't a lot of doctors that are well-trained in evaluating and treating the peripheral nervous system because truly for many people, there are five main tunnels in the lower extremity that can be dealt with. And we have a study coming out, hopefully within the next year, on balance and gait that was done based upon research and data collected from patients that we did surgery on years back to help them get rid of their neuropathy symptoms. What were we doing? Well, and we still do it to this day, we go in and do nerve decompression surgeries where we open up tunnel pathways, nerve tunnels that have become tight in the lower extremity. And by doing that, we get rid of the burning, the tingling, the numbness, and in many cases, the weakness. So what are the three key parts to balance problems? Number one, I would say, is just basic numbness. You just lose a lot of feeling in your feet. They may be extremely numb or just slightly numb, but nonetheless, the ability to feel your feet on the ground is very important, and maybe even up on the top of the foot and into the ankle area, because you need to know what position your foot and ankle's in. That's very critical. Number two would be the ability to have strength. If you have weakness, that's not good. You can have weakness in just the ability of spreading your toes apart. That's very subtle, but a lot of you have that that are watching this. You can also have drop foot, which means you have weakness of five different muscle groups, different combinations of these muscle groups that pull the foot up, the toes up, and the foot sideways. That would be drop foot. You can also have something I commonly call weak foot. It's not known about this as much, but people have weakness being able to push their heels off the ground to do like a toe raise. So that could be part of your issue too. So that's number two is weakness. And then finally, number three, I think pain also affects balance because if you're painful to put pressure and 
put weight on your feet, that in some ways contributes to your issue because you're always trying to avoid things. You're, it's just not comfortable to walk. And if it's not in, if it's not comfortable to ambulate, you're not going to have a very active lifestyle, which I think can kind of lead to you know obesity and other health issues. So those are generally the three things that I think you need to know. And then in terms of treatments that we offer, there are basically three main ideas. And these are all based upon our evaluation of you, where are you on the spectrum of severe to mild, uh, and how motivated are you, which pathway you choose. And we help and guide you through the, through the decision process. So one of the treatment options we use is laser. This is a deeply penetrating laser, a treatment option that we provide. It's, it penetrates very well into your legs and is able to help repair the damaged nerves. The other treatment option is something called e-stem. That's another option. We have multiple videos on YouTube about electrical stimulation, e-stem that we use. This has been very helpful with patients that have balance and gait issues. And then finally, we have the option of surgery. So what are these surgeries? There are surgical decompression procedures that are performed on specific nerve tunnels that we think are creating the symptoms from our uh, evaluation of you. There may be two of them, there could be three, but based upon how you present and where your weakness, where your numbness is, are those are the tunnels that we may open up and do what's called nerve decompression surgery, not unlike doing a carpal tunnel surgery in the hand. So that's basically it. What I'm doing is simply applying what I learned from Dr. Johns Hopkins years ago, applying what's commonly been done on the upper extremity and just applying it to the lower extremity. There are multiple nerve tunnels up here that doctors oftentimes look at, evaluate and treat surgically or non-surgical, but when you're coming to the lower extremity, a lot of what all you're hearing are two things. The problems of neuropathy in the lower extremity are metabolic, and maybe you should take medication for that. There's nothing you can do. Or number two, it's from your back, and let's treat your back. I'm not that doctor. I'm the doctor that says, you know what? Let's look at this other door, this other opportunity, because indeed, for many of you, it's not the first two. It's what I'm going to tell you. It's the nerve tunnels from the knee down. So just be aware of that. I, I love to teach and introduce you to this new concept. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We need more people learning about this as another avenue, another treatment mode to go through to get rid of your chronic problems with neuropathy and specifically balance and gait issues. You don't want to fall and we want to keep you walking and, and keeping your good balance. So we appreciate you walking or watching and we want to keep you walking. But uh, anyway, I, I love to teach and hopefully you love to watch and learn a little bit more. And please share this with other people and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. You take care.